So AT&T, if you make a call in El Paso or Las Cruces, this is the management team that makes sure that it goes well. But these women in business and women in tech also have firsts and uncharted areas of their career. So we'll start with you, Lynette. Now, you told me something that really opened my eyes. You said that boys are often reared differently than girls. What is that main difference? Yeah, so the way I think about it is boys, you know, are encouraged to be outside and get dirty and play. Girls typically, you know, you gotta be clean and don't get dirty. And so I think there's this idea of girls gotta be perfect. And I think that's a struggle for a lot of us. You get that idea of perfection. So one of the things I do, I have two little girls and I try to teach them to be brave, not perfect. So put themselves out there and try. And if it's messy, they're moving forward, making progress. You were the first Latina ever to achieve vice president ship in Texas. Vice President General Manager, right? So for that title, yeah, and if you think about the demographics of North Texas, it's important that we look like our community. So being a Latina, having the, the culture and being a woman, I think positions me uniquely to serve our community. Wonderful. Okay, Stacy, uh, construction and engineering. A few guys Just worked a couple. in there. Yeah. And you were the first female to be an engineer. Talk about that journey. Yeah, when I started with the company, I, I entered into engineering and I was the only woman in the office. And so what has been fun about my uh, journey at AT&T is watching that transform. Um, it's still a very male dominated field and you know there's a lot of focus on women in STEM and encouraging the analytical side for women and um, bringing them into engineering roles and so that part of it has been really fun to watch the transition but also I think what women bring to this entire world is daring to be different and so um, I have three daughters and I encourage them to be different don't feel like you have to conform to corporate America or to you know the other things you need to be different and bring yourself because that's why you're here so beautiful Liz you also charted some new territory in your family tell us about that I'm an El Paso native and I'm the first college graduate in my family I'm a proud UTEP minor so go minors um, but it's to me it's so important that I honor my, the legacy of my ancestors. I'm doing things that my ancestors would have never dreamed of in their wildest dreams. And I have the opportunity to help make El Paso a better place for our community members to live, work, and play. So I love this role. Stacy, how have the men in your department I mean, I, you seem like you'd be a pretty popular manager. Maybe it's even worked to your advantage. Tell, tell me about that. Um, some days it does. You know, I, I, think, um, I think the relationship is what is really important. So when I'm working with my team, establishing that relationship and knowing someone for who they are, what motivates them and what makes them get out of bed every day is, you know, that means a good leader. And so I really focus on the relationship, whether I'm leading a man or a woman, I think that's critical. Now, women and men are obviously very different, um, but I think if you know the individual and you can focus on that, it, it, it helps. Yes, being a female leader in a male dominated field um, is challenging, but I think being a female leader in any field, honestly, is, is a challenge, but it's exciting to see this. This is what is amazing and love these guys and great partners to work with and it's what it's all about. Lynette, Stacy, Liz, I can't thank you enough. Wonderful words, so wonderful. And thank you. AT&T, I love my AT&T. <laughs>